good morning dear students welcome back again with the next session of this lesson current electricity already we have discussed about uh, resistance in series now today we are going to discuss about resistance in parallel you can see the diagram which gives clear indication about the circuit of resistance in parallel resistance in parallel resistors are said to be connected in parallel when the ends are connected at both the ends both the sides you can see c and d the ends are connected to both the sides c and d the three resistors r1 r2 r3 are connected in parallel between c and d v is the potential difference this v is the potential difference between c and d let i1 i2 and i3 be the current flowing through r1 r2 r3 this is r1 r2 r3 through this i1 through a i2 through this a and i3 through this a is passing through the resistors r1 r2 r3 so now the total current i is equals to sum of the individual current in the circuit so i equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 let rp be the effective resistance between c and d according to ohm's law i equals to v upon rp similarly i1 equals to v upon r1 i2 equals to v upon i2 r2 and i3 equals to v upon r3 substituting this value in equation 1 we get v upon rp equals to v upon r1 plus v upon r2 plus v upon r3 we can see at both the sides lhs and rhs something is common the common term is v so divide each term by v we get here as 1 upon rp equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 if and resistors are connected in parallel then 1 upon rp will be equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 plus till 1 upon rn if a number of resistors are connected in parallel then the inverse of the effective resistance is equal to the sum of the inverse inverse of the individual resistors that is 1 upon rp equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 till 1 upon rn second characteristics the current flowing through the individual resistor is proportional to the inverse of its resistance and total current flowing through it total current flowing through a circuit is the sum of the current of the flowing through the individual resistors which simply implies that i equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so i is effective current passing through the circuit i1 i2 and i3 are the individual currents passing through each resistors the potential difference across all resistors is same so potential difference across each resistors r1 r2 r3 is always same in case of series current was same in case of parallel potential difference is same the effective resistance of the resistors connected in parallel is less than the least resistance of the individual resistors in case of resistance in series rs that is the effective resistance was greater than r1 r2 r3 each of each of the resistors whereas in case of resistance in parallel rp effective resistance in parallel is less than the individual resistors that is r1 r2 and r3 means rp is less than r1 rp is less than r2 rp is less than r3 and so on this arrangement is used to 
reduce the resistance in the circuit. So if you want to reduce the current, reduce the uh, reduce the current or reduce the resistance, you have to use parallel. If you have to increase the current, you have to use parallel. That is vice versa. This arrangement is used to reduce the resistance in a circuit. Indirectly, we can say that it is useful in increasing the current. It is used to protect the domestic domestic appliances. Sorry. The last subtopic of this lesson is fuse wire. Now, fuse wire, which we are having each and every block or Flats in the building is having fuse wire and fuse wire has certain uses of it. We are going to study about the uses of it. So first use, it is used to protect the domestic appliances. In case if extra or excess current is passing through it, then the fuse wire melts and circuit breaks and our, all our electrical appliances gets protected from getting damaged. It is made up of mixture of substances and has specific melting point. So low melting point is there so that excess current passes, it melts, circuit breaks. It is connected in series to the electrical appliances. If for some reason the current in the circuit increases excessively, the fuse wire gets heated up and melts. So in case excess current passes, the wire gets heated and it melts and circuit breaks and all our appliances is being protected from getting damage. The circuit gets broken and flow of the current stops, thus protecting the appliances. This wire is fitted in a groove in a body of porcelain like in a non-conducting material so that we will not get shock if we touch the socket. If we touch the porcelain. For domestic, if you, for domestic use, fuse wires with upper limit is of 1 ampere or 2 ampere or 3 ampere or 4 ampere or 5 ampere and 10 ampere, etc. And thus we have completed this lesson. If any doubt is there, personally you can ask me. You're welcome. Have a great day.